Welcome everyone to Ozarks tonight and happy Thanksgiving to y'all. It's actually Thanksgiving Eve. We've got Amy Blanchett and Nick Reed with us to talk about getting along with folks at the Thanksgiving or Black Friday or whatever holiday table you're going to be at Black. this weekend. We're going to, you know, Black Friday is a great time oh, to celebrate sure. yeah. sales, Absolutely. good deals, commerce, mm -hmm. all that sort of thing. Correct. But the, the big one is going to be dealing with folks who are going to have a little different political view <laughs> than you at the table. And we all have those members of our family or close circle of friends. So you two are here modeling great civic and civil discourse. Mm. Yeah? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> give <now>? us, yes. <laughs> well, I'm telling you that's what we're doing now. So, so give us some insight into uh, tricks of the trade that you two have learned. Because you're both, I mean, you go to your families and they know that you yap for a living on some level, right? And they want to know true. what's going on. And they're not all going to have the same view as you. So what's some inside baseball about how you all get along? Let's start with uh, Amy. Feed them lots of extra turkeys so they fall asleep so they don't have the to have conversation. Yeah, Correct. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Hold back the alcohol so the opinions stay. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, one of the things that I love about my family is that we are constantly at each other in a, in a shared chat. And so every day we're worth like lobbing something out there and, and listening to each other's opinions. Um, so I do appreciate the conversations that we have, not that I agree with them all. And a lot of times um, I think the best part about Thanksgiving is keeping your mouth full so that some of the comments you want to make uh, can't come out. Um, but <laughs> my family practices all year long in this group chat so that we are prepared for Thanksgiving on how to be nice to each other. And is this like a chance to settle some scores as well? Right. Like, you know, like you, you got me at Halloween. I'm really going to get you at Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> Nick, what do you do? Uh, I have never understood people who willingly and proactively engage in conversation that they know is going to be a conflict mm. for no reason other than mm -hmm. to do it. And I, some of that may just be the way I was raised. I was raised by very pleasant people. Uh, not like Pollyannish, but you're together. Why would you? Ch I know. Let's talk. Remember that time you got that DWI? Well, let's talk about that for a while. I mean, it's like. What, but I know some people do that yes. for, and and I do believe that with social media, it has gotten a lot of people very accustomed to throwing out their opinions. We don't have to do that about everything. Uh, now, most of my family is pretty in line, and we still don't even really necessarily talk about this stuff. But you know, if I have certain family members that are on the opposite end. I just have not only do I, I don't have to try not to talk about it. I don't want to. I just do not want to spend my time doing that. I do think some people enjoy fighting. Right. I think they Absolutely. do. And they may not even realize it. Maybe that's just, and this isn't a criticism at all, maybe that's just how they were raised. Some families you hear, that's what they do all the time. That's how they get along. Uh, and so they don't actually <laughs> mind it. But just don't talk about it. If you're worried about it, just don't talk about it. Just yeah, don't I, I don't mean, do I it. It is true, though. I mean, I come from a family where, at least my dad and I, we like to yell. Not yell, but, you know, we're Italian, so we just Right, like, exactly. Yes. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Right, and so there's that that goes on. Other folks, just like, stop. We're yeah. just here to eat the pie, right. and it's, you know, it's nice to be with family and that kind of thing. Well, what happens when you start to see it go, that, that, that difficult turn into, oh, this is going to get ugly, right? I mean, get out the vodka. <laughs> Double down on Pretend the alcohol. Pretend to fall asleep. Yeah, you keep going in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you, do you just avoid those invitations entirely? One of the things that um, my parents, the same, have been very gifted at, you know, raising seven children plus foster kids on top of that. We were a zoo all the time, lots of different opinions. And they were really good about kind of bringing it back to um, what are the points. So a lot of times we'll go into the weeds and it becomes emotional and we start saying things that um, maybe we're only partially educated because of social media. We read this one thing. Um, so they love to throw in like another question to say like, you know, have you thought about it from this view? Or, you know, what about if you had to, or make each other we switch arguments. This, we read this one, one thing. thing. Yes. I love but that. one thing that's fun is to say, okay, can you you take your side and you take his side right. and let's see how you come The more from each clever one points. would win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they so it's figure a, out a way to It becomes a debating society. But that's your family's a bit of an outlier. I mean, but there I'm will be a few with like Uncle Joe. Practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think for a lot of people it's just 
it's okay to let them go. Right. You don't have to, you're not on a you're, stage somewhere. No. You can just let them have their thing, mm -hmm. let them have their moment of just being loud and whatever, and just keep your internal monologue on a different mm -hmm. frequency. You can make fun of them. I, you guess. Yeah. If you're good at that, right. some people they make like Richard Nixon wasn't so good at making. I mean, he'd be like oh, confrontational. Wow. Right. I mean, if you have a good sense mm -hmm. of humor, maybe it goes to a good place. But I'm sure there are families where it just right. there have been holidays ruined, and they're and happy he, they don't have to do it again for another year. But then they don't they speak don't, after correct. that for yeah. correct. I don't know yeah. how why, long. Then why don't you, you don't have to get together? Yeah, right. I mean that's a thing too. I, I mean if you don't get along. Yeah. Go well, that, somewhere else. That's what I got to say. You don't have to be together. Right, exactly. And FaceTime is great for that. I, I <laughs> could just have you right here and I can eat alone. Right. And I just look at you oh, when I'm sorry. tired. I just press. Bad connection. And you can always <laughs> threaten to cut people out of wills. You can, you know. <laughs> all, holidays I mean, are a good time. There are a number of weapons one can use against a family member if yeah. they really need to at the holiday season. Yeah. We are sort of teasing a little bit, but not really, especially now you with know, the level of polarization. Another way. To, to change it, um, you know, changing the topic and just, the other thing is, you know, instead of going, why are you even talking about politics yeah. at the dinner table anyway? Like, how do you talk about the, you know, the latest thing that someone achieved? Why are we not talking about positive, uh, you know, things that have happened in the family instead of tearing each other down? So, you know, practice a, a different way to communicate with your family, I, I think, see what happens. I think the problem is it's not talking about politics or anything else in what sounds like a family like yours or like mine or yours where you don't mind you know you yell at each other but you get a family and then there's that one or two persons that just for whatever reason are insistent mm -hmm. on not shutting up about it and telling you why you're wrong that's where you get the problem because everyone else is trying to get along and it's like what do you do with that person right. that's and disown them I guess I disown them lock change the locks on the door yeah or just roll your eyes mm -hmm. to the other siblings yeah. and then just yeah. acknowledge that you all don't feel that way and just move on announce that there's poison put in the turkey and you have the <laughs> antidote <laughs> I mean, these are just now again. Just, just suggestions that just, have maybe worked in the past. Each gobble, family's gobble. different. Right. Everyone <laughs> has their own way. Well, listen. We wish you all a very happy and safe Thanksgiving weekend, and we thank Nick Reed and Amy Blancett for their sage wisdom on this topic. <laughs> we'll be back after this.